Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, voice isn't quite recovered yet, but I um, had a bit of spare time on my hands, so I thought I'd uh, bring you guys up to date with what's in my bag. Um, I haven't done a what's in my bag video, um, if at all ever. I've done a few gear videos, uh, but never a what's in the bag. So here we go. This is my <coughs> Low Pro AW450 backpack. Um, two straps rather than a single slingshot style and the main components <coughs> in here is obviously my Sony A7R4 and for those of you that have just noticed I've um, just customized my lenses. I use some um, K's magnetic filters and the lens caps are magnetic and what I was finding was when I have a lens hood on, I couldn't reach in to undo the lens cap without taking lens hood off. So what I've done is just stuck a bit of sticky tape on here, which doesn't take any space up. And it means I can literally pick them off very easily. Talking of which, this is my favorite lens at the moment, or one of them. They're probably all my favorites, but this one is pretty much on the camera all the time. This is a Sony um, G Master. 2.8 16 to 35 wide angle lens and this pretty much does a lot of my landscape work for me the a7r4 is a lovely piece of kit since they extended the grip on it that really fits in the hand well and it's just overall a very nice piece of kit uh, 62 megapixels plenty of room to crop plenty of dynamic range plenty of recovery in the shadows and everything of that sort even though i tend to bracket my shots i find half the time i don't need to but on the bottom of here we've got the um, peak designs um, tripod plate which is quite low profile it's only sticking down four or five millimeters which um, is really handy because that means that uh, it doesn't take much space up in my case so that is my main camera um, obviously I've got other cameras I'm talking to on this one and that um, camera there the RX100 Mark 7 is filming what's going on in the bag down here next item in the uh, repertoire and again another one of those bits of sticky tape on the front so that my filter system cap can come off this is the Sony G Master um, 24 to 70 2.8 uh, it's pretty much my go-to lens that normally is on the camera most of the time but as I've just said the 16 to 35 has been on quite a bit recently because I've been taking quite a few landscape shots with um, hay bales in the foreground and quite a lot of heavy foreground where I've needed to pull in tighter I did have the 12 to 24 G Master lens but I actually returned it because the difference between 16 and 12 millimeters wasn't worth the, um, the expense and the the hassle of having an extra lens so that one went back and I kept the 16 to 35 but that's my 24 to 70 I've had that uh, ever since I started with Sony back in about 2016 and it's never put a foot wrong and it's um, it's a lovely piece of glass lovely and crisp and sharp so that goes happily in there the next one is again a Sony lens and again with the nice little addition of a sticky tape connection on it this is the Sony does it focus it will do in a moment this is the 100 to 400 uh, 4.5 to 5.6 G master with image stabilization and as you can see there it's got all of the necessary controls um, for turning on and off stabilization range limiting and so on and so forth this is of a design where the lens actually extends um, as the other two do as well but not to this extent it's not a fixed um, lens which i'll come to in a moment that's a very much a go-to that has got a third party arca swiss plate on the bottom because i don't know why camera manufacturers when they make foot feet for telephoto lenses don't automatically make them the profile of Arca Swiss even if they've still got tripod holes in screw holes in it wouldn't hurt them to do it and it would save people having to go out and buy in this case not ideal but um, perfectly serviceable additional foot to give me that functionality anyway that's a gripe for another day so that lives in there in terms of lenses this is <coughs> again with the cap on this is the Samyang 100mm 2.8 
Is it going to focus on it? I can still see my face, that's the problem. It's focusing on my face. So that's the 2.8 macro 100mm lens, which is completely manual. Um, you have to be very careful focusing. It's got an incredibly shallow depth of field, but it was only 300 odd pounds and worth every penny. Highly recommend it. And that, I've had it about a month now, and I tend to quite, well, I've used it quite a lot recently, I must admit. So that's next in there. Now, moving onwards, we have a Sony six, two times converter which goes on the 100 to 400 and it also goes on the 200 to 600 that I've got and I also have some cheap little Kenko extension tubes for Sony which have got the uh, pass-through connection so that the lenses all function as they're supposed to and they live in there. <coughs> Next lens that we have is this beastie which is this is a Sony 600 200 to 600 zoom lens uh, which when it's actually deployed it doesn't change length um, zooming this lens it doesn't change its length at all which is perfect absolutely perfect no chance of any dust getting in or anything so that's a bit of a beast that's quite a heavy thing it doesn't actually live in my bag but technically it's part of my equipment and again it has all of the necessary image stabilization and focus limitation functions that you'd expect so that's the lenses um, what we also have in the bag going through the smaller and less important items are this is my K's filter system and in here this was a standard K's 82mm filter system but with the addition of this 0.9 soft grad magnetic so all of the little slots in here are occupied there are uh, a 10 stop and a 6 stop and a polarizer that's I think the 6 stop I think this one's no this is the 6 stop and the other one was the 10 stop we have that's definitely the 10 stop um, that's a two stop as well and we have also a K's circular polarizer so that in total is one two three four five filters all in this rather nice little leather pouch which doesn't take much space up in the camera bag and just fits neatly in that corner there and on top of that a waterproof um, case for storing SD cards like so nice um, plasticky rubber gasket on it which keeps it completely watertight should it end up in water no it shouldn't do I also have a series of wiper cloths usual sort of thing um, lint free um, lens cleaning cloths and things of this sort for the occasional wiping and also this little brush which I use to clean the uh, viewfinder on the camera or if there's dust on the lens get that dust off with that so this is actually a, a glasses cleaner as well you can do that over your glasses and uh, it makes them spotlessly clean and being a glasses wearer I'm quite meticulous about wanting the, the lenses to be clean as much as possible so that's in the camera case as well and then in this pocket here are all the spare batteries that I have for all the different components for the vlogging gear and so on and so forth and we also have in here in this pocket a cleaning kit with all of the sensor cleaning swabs ready to be used and then thrown away because they're disposable there's about 20 of them in there I rarely clean the sensor quite honestly I'm, I'm quite meticulous about um, keeping it clean but I don't obsess about it um, they all live in there quite happily and talking of sensor cleaning how many times have you seen people taking a lens off like this I've just done it to demonstrate it but whenever I take a lens off I always hold the camera facing downwards because gravity being what gravity is dust is more likely to get into there onto that sensor with the camera pointing upwards or flat than it is if it's pointing down anyway little gripe over second gripe Sony please make the shutter go across the sensor when the lenses are detached or when the cameras turned off 
you do it on the A9 now. I think it's the A9, or it's certainly one of the new, oh, it's the A7S3 does it. Why can't it be done? It must be just a firmware update to make it happen to all of the cameras. Anyway, it would be nice if it did Sony, if you're watching this. So that's the equipment that's in the bag. Um, there's nothing in that part there. The, the bag has got this nice um, support that I can put a tripod in if I'm carrying a small enough tripod and you're aware of my tripods because you've seen most of them recently reviewed almost certainly um, in terms of other equipment basically little tiny tripods like this useful the uh, remote control handle for the phone I'll do the uh, camera that's recording at the moment this is normally got the camera on it and I'm talking to the camera and it's uh, got all the controls on there necessary to actually control the camera nicely without having wires and cables and talking of wires and cables when I find it ah, oh, it's here I've got it on here of course this is the Sony uh, Bluetooth microphone which is connected to this camera there's a receiver in the hot shoe mount uh, that hot shoe receiver can actually go onto any of my Sony's with the exception of the RX100 it doesn't have a hot shoe which is a great shame because it would uh, benefit by having one and that very much is the equipment that I'm using Please uh, ask any questions and if you need any help with setting up the Sony, if you're new to Sony, give me a shout. I've got four or five years experience using Sony now, so I know the menu systems inside out. And if you have any comments, please put them in the section below. Anyway, I hope that was useful and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.